Thanks for joining me for another beer review then. So today we've got a beer from the Lodden Brewery. This is called Dragonfly. Um, it's a 5.2% ABV pale ale. I don't know if it's English pale ale, maybe. It's got Cascade and Comet hops in this one. So, um, so yeah. Um, so these guys are out of Oxfordshire. Um, I thought I'd had a beer from this brewery before, but... Um, don't think I have so here it is. I've gone for a pint. Um, it was two eighty nine a pint, which here. So and I've seen it on um, other other kind of like spoons and it's like two twenty nine, so it's obviously maybe it's a southern price thing or venue um, orientated. So anyway, whatever. I don't know what that is about, but anyway, fancy it's like a traditional gold nail esque beer. Um, it poured out really kind of foamy at first um, on the cask so I think it was just pulling it through too quick it's just come on and yeah anyway it took, took a few minutes but we got there in the end it's settled down now it's got a half a finger of white creamy looking head um, that's hung around for the last five minutes so let's get a nose on it then So it's got a, a kind of a, a nice light, almost citrusy grapefruit edge. Quite mellow, but it's there. It's taken the lead aroma. It's not, um, I mean, it's a gold nail for a start, so it's not gonna take, the malt's not gonna take a lead kind of profile as it may do, a, say, a bitter or something. Yeah, nice subtle, very approachable on the nose, so. Let's give it a try, see what it's all about. Cheers. And as I said, just looking at the beer, just leaving a nice lacing as the beer's gone down. Very smooth, kind of mouthfeel. Like a grapefruit piff dryness. A little bit bready, white bread. It is leaving a kind of a... There's a flavour on the back back of the palate that is like residual. <coughs> One thing I'm finding very difficult with some of the the beers that are in Weatherspoons is is it a true representation of the beer itself and therefore the brewery or is it any kind of flavours that I weren't expected to be there partly to do with um, the establishment you're in um, i.e. the lines or whatever the deal is It's leaving a, I would say unpleasant taste, but it's definitely got some kind of, um, oh, it's drinkable. Maybe it's slightly bitter, just a, a bitterness I wasn't expecting on the beer. Um, yeah, bready. It's not, it's definitely got that upfront grapefruit piff going on. A little bit of kind of uh, lemon, a little bit of sharp lemon edge. Overall, I mean, it's okay. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit better just by going by on sc scores and untapped. Um, if it's averaging at 3.5 and about 3.75 with nine other ratings so which is it's not too bad for, for, for a more cast traditional ale which this is on cast um, yeah it's leaving the lovely lacing I must admit considering there's no sparkler or nothing like that it's 
not too bad, but not um, it's not wowing me or anything like that. But yeah, it's a, a nice average brew. Um, but again, nice to try. I've not had this one before, so I, I do like to try different stuff, even if it is go, kind of going in blind a little bit. Um, but anyway, you, you kind of um, sometimes you gamble on, on things like this. Um, or I have a half, but I just fancied a pint. But anyway, let me know if I've had this one before. This is um, Dragonfly from the Lodden Brewery out of Oxfordshire. Is it Dunstan? I think it's Dunstan in, in Oxfordshire. So uh, let me know if I've had this one before. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers. <laughs>